Hi ladies, um, as requested, a little video on um, home parties, my secret, which is quite funny because I don't really think I've got a secret. Um, so what I've done is I've just written down pretty much what I've done since I started um, and how it's got to where it is now. Um, so the first thing that I did right back at the beginning is um, I watched everything and read everything in university. Um, specifically on home parties within there, Kizzy has done a video um, and it's a step-by-step -step guide to how she does home parties. Um, not how she gets them, but how she does them. So that was the very first thing that I did was I watched it, I press, press pause, I wrote my notes, I carried on watching and so on till the end. And then from there, what I did was book my own launch party um, and I invited all my friends and family on Facebook um and then while i was preparing for it what i did was go back to my notes and i basically copied everything that kizzy had said I, she said where to buy things from you know what to get how to set it up the types of things that you could do um so i, I based it all on that the camera just keeps slipping it's resting on a cushion it's very professional this video <sighs> okay so um so yeah, two days before my launch party, I realised that there was something wrong because the people were saying, the people that I invited who'd confirmed that they were coming were basically saying that they were coming on a different date completely to the date that I'd got it booked for. It turned out that because my phone was new, the settings or something to do with the timing in my phone had made, had made that the Facebook event was completely wrong. So on the morning of my actual launch party, it ended up being that there was my mum and potentially one other person still coming. So I just thought, well, there's just no point in doing it for two people. So I cancelled it and then I cried <laughs> because I, I was really disappointed. I'd got myself really worked up and really psyched up. I'd got everything prepared, everything bought um, and then I cancelled it. So I had a little cry and, um, and then I got over it. And the day before I'd been watching The Secret which if you've watched it already it's all about um what you project to the universe is, is what you get back and that kind of thing so I, I had a little word with myself pulled myself together and then I immediately rebooked it on Facebook um so that my launch party party actually ended up being my second party because by the time I'd rebooked it I'd already been contacted by somebody else um and and all that that only came about literally by me posting I've tried to do it every day but I don't always because I don't always remember um just to put a status update on Facebook it's nothing special since I've done the parties I've been using the pictures of the table that I set up but before that it was just stuff that I'd found on Pinterest that kind of thing um, with some you know um writing about if you, you know have home party you get free gifts and invite your friends around have a laugh blah 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 um so that's what I did um and then I got contacted by this girl who I knew through a friend of mine. So she ended up being my very first party. And that was only uh, last month. Last month I did my very first party and I did three parties in total. Um, from that party I earned £400 was my first one um, in sales. That is and obviously not in commission. That would be great. Um, and then I did two more. Um, my launch party, which I did about 320 something like that. And then... The one just gone on Friday night, which was my best so far, which was £470 in sales. Um, and then from there, obviously, the people that have gone to those parties, I've then added them on Facebook. Um, I've also got parties from those people coming up in November. Uh, not all of them, but some of them. And I've also got uh, sales additionally to what they ordered on the night. They've ordered more stuff. So, you know, it's broadened my network, um, introduced me to new people. So it's kind of snowballed really from those two parties in the beginning. Um, my whole, the whole of November now, the, the dates that I set aside are completely booked up um, and none of them are for friends. They're all for people that have contacted me saying that they've seen my post on Facebook. Um, now, I, I, even when I post them, people never comment straight away or at least very rarely anyway. So it's just that people have remembered and then they perhaps see me post something else and then they've come back to me and said they want to party, etc. Um, so, you know, I guess 
they must be being seen they just you know perhaps it's just not the right time or whatever when i initially post the post but the other thing that i have done as well is inbox people um you know a personal email because the problem with notifications on facebook when you do a status update is it moves so quickly that a lot of the time things get missed so you know you might think nobody's bothering to respond to you but the fact is is that it's a really small percentage of people that even see it in the first place so if you send five say five emails a day inbox them on facebook saying you know this is what you're doing would you like to hold a party this is what you'll get for doing it eventually somebody's going to say yes because it's just a numbers game you know you're going to get lots of no's but you can't take it personally you just have to keep going until the next one and the next one and then eventually you'll get one and then when you get when you've done that one you'll meet new people and hopefully more will come from that and you know it's a bit of a snowball effect um so that's it really that's kind of my secret i don't think it's a secret i think it's just kind of how it's panned out really um quickly the other thing that i do as well once every month is i do an online party um i've not done any for anybody else um i tried it and i found the whole thing quite annoying and decided that it's not really for me but that's not to say that i won't change my mind in the future but for now i've got enough on trying to figure it all out as it is without trying to add any more complications in so i do my own and i do it once a month for five days um and i watched uh cara lewis newton if you go onto her YouTube and Google her name and 4K party, she basically did a 4K party online. Um, she's been doing it for a while now. She's one of the originals, Black Status. Um, but she had loads of tips and stuff. So I, again, I sat and I wrote everything down um, and I followed what she did. Um, so I always customise the parties. I've done um, two now. I've got another one coming at the end of this month. So my first one was called Confident Woman, uh, Women's Boutique. So all the posts that were all surrounding being confident in your own skin and, you know, makeup enhancing natural beauty, that kind of thing. Um, last month's was called Kiss and Makeup. Um, so a lot more general, uh, lots of different offers and things like that. And then the one I've got coming up in November is a Black Friday event. And that's not five days. I'm just doing one day um, just because it's kind of the craze, isn't it, at the minute? So I thought I'd give it a whirl. I'm not sure what my offers are going to be yet. All I've literally done is set up the event on Facebook and have started inviting people. So um, within those parties, I always do a mystery hostess prize. I do the party point system, gets people involved and they get a, whoever gets the most points at the end of it gets a prize. And I also do a raffle for everybody that clicks on the accept button. And to increase numbers... Um, to the parties i inbox everybody a separate invite as well i don't just send the invite out because again a lot of the time it gets missed and people are more likely to respond to you when you are asking them personally to join you and i also mentioned that they get entered into a free raffle and ever since i started doing that my attendance has just gone well my very first party online was 10 people the last one i did was 76 so it's not massive amounts certainly not going to be making me 4k at the moment but it's definitely going in the right direction and it's all since i started inviting people personally um and i think that's it that's it there's nothing else really um if you need me to tag you in any of the videos that i've mentioned um you know like kizzy's one then i can just comment below or if there's anything you want me to explain further then comment or message me i'd be happy to tell you um but that's it really and they're really good fun and if you're scared i'd really advise stepping out of your comfort comfort zone and having a go because i've been nervous before every single one including the one that i had with my family and my friends that was actually worse um but they've all been such a brilliant laugh it's just girls together playing with makeup having a giggle and honestly i really have enjoyed every single one that i've done and i'm definitely going to be keeping it up for the future um, so that's it really. Hope I helped. Okay, see you later. Bye.